2022 is the 50th anniversary of Haggard & Stocking Associates. We are really excited to bring you this vlog series. In this series, we're going to be talking about our history, where we got our start, the things we're doing today, and the things that make us who we are. We're really excited about this series, and we hope that you enjoy. Today, we're going to talk to you about how Haggard & Stocking got its start. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of people ask me, how did Hagen Stocking get to where it is today? And I thought, what better way to do that than to address this subject within the confines of my father's office, Herbert C. Haggard. As a matter of fact, both of my grandfathers were machinists. You can say metal working has been in my family's blood for many generations. My paternal grandfather, Donald Haggard, was a machinist for the New York Central Railroads after he got out of the Army. And because of this, my father decided he wanted to pursue an interest within this field. So he went to Purdue University, their school of technology. As a matter of fact, he was one of the first students within that program. He graduated with a design and drafting degree that enabled him to land a job at General Telephone. And at General Telephone, he worked to design and develop and sell the, the systems that, that he, was, he was working on. And it was through those efforts that he, he kind of found his passion and he developed his passion for marketing and sales. And with his newfound passion of marketing and sales at the phone company, it eventually led him to a job at Pratt & Whitney selling their industrial cutting tools. And it was through that knowledge of his, his, his design, his sales, his marketing, and then the knowledge of cutting tools, that gave him the opportunity when it presented himself to feel confident enough to, to purchase a one-man rep agency and he took that one-man rep agency and where he was selling products out the back of his car providing for his family to where he eventually met his, his future partner Ron Stocking and in the summer of 1972 Haggard Stocking was born. My father was selling on the back of his car three product lines and he went after this co his customer base and he went to develop his, his business with a premise on service with problem solving Quite frankly, he would go to the customers and say, if you have a, a service finish problem, a, a concentricity problem, a sizing problem, you let us work on it because we want to solve your problems. We want to be those engineers that can fix your problems on the shop floor. And to this day, we really find our core competency out in the field is being problem solvers for our customers. But we've gone a long way since that one man out of the back of a station wagon. Now we have multiple locations around the country we have three locations in the state of Indiana and hundreds, if not thousands of product lines. We have different divisions from cutting tools to fasteners, material handling, safety, vending, and different ways we bring the products to you. That one man's passion for marketing sales has led him to build a business that, that I get excited about, that a lot of my employee workmates, we get excited about it. And we're excited to share that with you as we can continue down this journey in the, over the past 50 years and where we're going from today to tomorrow. I'm excited what tomorrow will bring.